Hi there, Phyllis Moore here. Philosophically speaking, thanks for tuning into my channel today. I've got nothing. I have nothing. I am a living, breathing, virtual Seinfeld episode. Not really, but you know, sometimes we just need to let off steam. Operative word. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe so that we can kind of keep the ball rolling, if you will. And speaking of the ball rolling, there have been rumblings going on and sometimes it's what we eat and sometimes it's just being in different places and for well i guess obvious reasons if you travel if you go to someone else's home and spend the night then you know you're eating differently your schedule is different you know you you know you don't sleep the same whatever so as a result, you might not be able to go to the bathroom or you might eat different foods and they react with you, whatever. I'm okay with any and all of that in the short run as long as there's not noise attached, okay? But I will say during this pandemic, if you have on a mask, that hides any embarrassment. And plus, with a mask on, this is just a tutorial for nothingness. If you have a mask on and someone emits gas, I'm talking about SBD, silent but deadly. <laughs> you know, they don't hear it, so they can't trace it to you. And maybe because of that mask, they can't smell it. Is that possible? Maybe. That's just one side note. But when you burp, belch, whatever you want to call it, they might be able to hear it. Although a mask can muffle that. Just just things to think about. Have you had to deal with that? Have you not? But, you know, there's all kinds of, of thoughts on that. But I know the other night I had a problem. I had a problem. My husband came to bed and we were watching TV and Oh gosh, I, I I said it was hiccups. It wasn't hiccups. I was just it was awful sounds were coming this way from this way, and you know after a while, after you hear them for a while, it's like you make these things like Foster Brooks. If you know what I'm talking about, years ago there was a comedian. He looked like a you know looked like probably your lovable granddad, but. He played the part of a drunken bum. You know, he'd kind of go, I don't know why, you know, and he talked like he had been drinking and he stumbled around and stuff like that. And that was supposed to be very funny. And um, so when I do this, that's what Ron, my husband, will call me. He'll say, Foster Brooks, you know, and it's like, I can't help it. It's, you know, it's, I, I say, the hiccups, or then it becomes this rumbling and, and back and forth, and I can't hardly talk or get comfortable without emitting these sounds and this particular occasion Ron said he said I thought you know well maybe it's because I've eaten a lot of roughage or something who knows he said did you drink milk this evening did you drink milk late and I said no and he goes well you know you're lactose intolerant and I thought well I did have one of those string cheese things you know the mozzarella cheese that in the little packs and you you know peel it down and enjoy that piece of cheese stick, whatever. But apparently, maybe that's a derivative of milk. And he said, you know, you're lactose intolerant. I know no such thing. But apparently he has been paying attention and realizes that if I do consume one of those dairy products late at night, I tend to have all kinds of volcanic eruptions <laughs> in bed and so he said you know and I said I, I said I said you're lactose intolerant I said maybe maybe you're Phyllis intolerant and he goes oh no no no! I am not intolerant of Phyllis I'm intolerant of what is inside of Phyllis and coming out so thank you for that but anyway uh, we, we just have to Sometimes we just can't keep things to ourselves, right? Sometimes we just have to share. We just have to share it. Anyway, mental note to self, do not consume such products after 6 or 7 p.m., apparently. But in any event, I hope you're taking good care of yourself and your health, whether you're traveling or whether you're at home. Try to keep, like a baby, try to keep as much of a consistent schedule as possible. Get your sleep, eat what you're supposed to, and um, 
try to keep your, your body and your mind in good working order. Okay, that's all I'm going to say today. I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. I hope you can laugh about stuff, even if it's uncomfortable, even if it's inconvenient. Find things to be entertained about and let that be consuming you more than anything that could worry you or bring you down. Take care of yourself, my friend. Please keep coming back to my channel. Don't forget to, to click like, share, and subscribe. See ya.